hi guys welcome back to another video today i'll be showing you how to do the lana lore quest which most of you guys have probably already done this because i'm uploading this super late because i did not have any motivation to edit it i would really appreciate if you follow my guide because it took me 11 hours to complete the quest on last week on saturday so i would really appreciate if you would follow my tutorial and watch it fully anyway no more yapping let's get started all right so the timestamps are right here up on the screen if you want to skip ahead by the way but we will be starting off with chapter one obviously because that is the first chapter anyway let's get started all right so we are waiting for all the players to load and this takes about 10 seconds and stuff. I don't know why it takes so long, but it just does. But for chapter one, to get to London's home, you're going to have to follow the white flowers. Anyways, I'm going to speed this part up because there's not really much to talk about. Just a little disclaimer as I do this, I will be taking out the cutscenes just to save us time because I want this video to be as short as possible for you guys anyways the key locations are right here on the screen and i will kind of be talking to you as i do it if the talking is necessary otherwise the video will be just sped up so basically you want to avoid that creature the two-headed monster thing anyway there's one in lana's room too it's right there and step so I recommend actually opening the pinky from the outside just so you have a smaller chance of getting caught by the monster. I have not seen anyone talk about opening the pinky from outside. But it's literally such a big hack because you you cannot be ca caught by the monster from outside unless somehow, somehow you guys manage to get the monster outside. I don't even think that's possible. So yeah. Okay, now that we're in chapter 2, I will also have all the map locations up here. By the way, I just want to mention something. Do not mind my messy writing. It is quite messy. And also, I just want to mention here that I meant to write upstairs bathroom. So, it's scribbled out a bit, but it's fine. So, anyways, let's continue on with the video. One thing I would like to mention is to not step on the glass on the floor or anything because that alerts nurse Julie. So try your best not to step on the glass. I was kind of being careless in this clip and I was just stepping on the glass. So please do not do that because look at how many times I got jump scared throughout this video. Also, by the way, I will have an exclusive clip. Um, at the end of chapter 2, which will be, like, the diary and stuff. If you want to check, if you want to check that out, make sure to skip this timestamp. If you want to see what's in the diary, in the camera, and that stuff. Anyways, let's continue. I just want to mention during the race do not press the jump button nor sprint or else you'll get stuck in the wall and have to redo the whole entire thing so make sure not to press those two buttons. been six months and i and i can still feel them crawling inside my stomach i can eat or even i can never eat or look at another apple again not after what he did to me i was fooled and i'm ashamed he's the reason i'm in this wretched place i want to leave but i know i can't i cannot leave until i'm better 
I can sense that he's here. They can't see him. But I know he's the... There. Oh, sorry. This um, sprint button is covering it. Or at least a part of him is. Entry 2. It's been a while. I haven't had access to my journal in two months. I was locked into my room for acting out. I was unstable and a danger to myself and others. I knew I recognized his name from somewhere. I read my Greek tales book from back to cover, hoping to find out more about him, who he is, and who he was. Maybe it would help me figure out why me. I live in a, in constant paranoia. Par- paranoia. I'm always wondering, is today the day? I can see the flowers blooming from my buried window. I wish I could smell them. It's been too long. Nurse Julie says I've been making progress and that she's proud of me. I've been growing fond of Nurse Julie, but I'm worried about getting too close to her. The whispers growing louder and they tell me horrible things. I feel defeated. I can't stop what's going to happen to her when I leave. He poisons and destroys everything in his everything his presence touches. She four. My birthday passed. I'm almost an adult now. My parents couldn't make it yet again. They made up some excuse like that they always do though. I know that they're in pain and I know They don't understand me. I hope that if I get out of this place, they'll be able to look at me again, look at me lovingly again. I hate celebrating my birthday now. Somehow Nurse Julie makes it all better. She even baked me a cake, triple chocolate. I don't understand how someone so young and bright could work in a place like this. Entry 5. Nurse Julie has started becoming aggressive i knew this would happen i knew she would do this i knew he would do this she's turning just like my parents did until he decided to leave them alone i don't think i'll be here much longer to see the outcome i don't know whether to be happy or sad about that in other news i finally found some information on him on the hospital library, Agamemnon. I think I know why he's doing this now. His greed cost him everything, and now innocents like me are paying the price. Entry 6. He's using Nurse Julie to taunt me. Some days she's normal, other days she's dazing off. I saw a fly land directly in her eye, and the other day she didn't even notice it. He knows I care about her. And he knows I've been researching him. I hope he's scared. I hope he knows that someday I'll figure out a way to stop him. I told him, I told Nurse Julie that she needs to leave this place, leaving me along with it. But she refused. She's stubborn, just like me. And she's seven. Finally happening. It's finally happening. No, not that. Not yet. I'm being discharged. My body isn't as sick anymore. My mind, well, it's not as clouded as before. My hair finally grew back, and I feel terrible for my parents. They told me not to worry about the hospital fees over the phone, but I could hear the distress in their voices. It's killing them. My sickness is. My sickness is killing them. I've packed all of my bags. I try to say goodbye to Julie, but she doesn't recognize me anymore. She's become terribly pale. It doesn't look like herself. My heart is broken. Testing, testing, one, two, three. The date is December 1st, 2012. It's the first day of my internship here at the hospital. 
My parents were a little worried, as you can imagine. Interning at a creepy hospital for medical experience isn't exactly the ideal dream they envisioned for their teenage daughter. Regardless, I'm glad they trust me. Okay, so for the maze, you're going to follow the little sparkles, by the way. That is really useful. Anyways, I'm going to speed this part up because the maze part took me really long. I skipped the cutscene because otherwise this video would be super long. You're gonna grab the scythe and you're gonna go here and you're gonna wait for like the Lanas to spawn and once they do you're gonna fight them but try not to lose a hearts by the way. <laughs> After that, what you're going to do is you're going to get on one of these rocks and avoid like, um, I don't even know what this goo is, it's not even lava, but this goo, you're gonna avoid that. that you're going to avoid the little spikes coming out of the podium these are actually kind of easy to avoid do not like go into like the little edges though because if you do they shoot out spikes at the edges for the people who try to like avoid the spikes so don't just go there <laughs> You're going to try your best and avoid the spikes that come out of the ground, not the podium, but out of the ground. After that, Lena will come down, and I made the big mistake of trying to fight her while I was doing this the first time I did this quest and stuff, but please do not do that, you will end up dying, so just kind of like run away from her and keep on running away from her and avoiding her attacks. So here's now she goes to the middle and she'll stomp and then there'll be like three waves, just dodge those. And when she turns red, you can attack her. <laughs> 